Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I am in Goiânia, in the state of Goiás, in central western Brazil. We're gonna especially focus today on a local fruit called pequi, which is a semi-dangerous fruit, but it's loved in this region. It's one of those fruits that you either love or you hate, and it's gonna be my first time to try it. I can't wait to try it. Now we're starting at the market. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna eat some snacks, we're gonna get a feel for the city. Then we're gonna go to lunch. It's a little drive away to the, it's a place called Goiás, Valle. Valet. And then we're gonna come back and eat some street food. So that's the plan for the day. It's gonna be an, an incredible day of unique food exploring the fruit. Good morning. Bon dia. Good morning. Bon dia. How are you today? Good, good. And yourself? Awesome. You're here at Mercado uh, Central in Goiânia. Man, a lot of uh, uh, handcraft, local food. And we're gonna see like which uh, fruits are available and we're gonna try the empadão. Step into the market immediately greeted by an abundance of produce. There's cheeses, there's grains, there's both fresh things, but then they also have pre-cooked food here as well. And this is a picky chili sauce. It's such a like spacious, wide alley market. Oh, here's some of the, the clay pots. And clay pots are very important for cooking in Brazil, cooking in this region, the local traditional food. The guy here said it's, it's strong. That's wow. the empadão. That's awesome. That's huge. Oh, this yeah. is a big one. Uh, chicken, sausage, onions, tomatoes. Oh, so that's one with all the different meats. Yeah, 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 awesome. yeah. You take a yellow bar stool and it's all just countertop seating. You're sitting right in front of the case of empanadas. This one is like a supersized one, which is the state of Goiás style, which is there's meat in here, a variety of different sausages. Uh, Gilherme just opened it up and then added some of that chili sauce. The chili sauce looks unbelievably good. Mm. Oh yeah. Got a good bit of that chili sauce, which has a wonderful, like, sour spiciness to it. Almost like a meat stew in the center. That's delicious and hearty. The next one that we're gonna try is the frango pequi, which is the, it's chicken with the fruit, the pequi fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I could, like, taste it in, like, the fumes before I took a bite. That does have an amazing, like, pungent flavor. Cheesy, very tropical. Very, very tropical. Like immediately you taste like, like jungle. <laughs> I cannot um, overemphasize how good the, the chili sauces are in Brazil. This one is with the wadiroba, which is a, a type of heart of palm, right? Yeah. This is an, another thing I've never tried. Heart of palm, this type of heart of palm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it does. You can taste a little bit of bitterness. And then it sort of has the texture of bamboo shoots. This jatoba. We're stopping by another fruit shop. This, uh, he has a bunch of different fruits. Some of them are kind of like dry and like pods. The fruit that we're gonna try is called jatoba, which is, it looks, yeah, it's kind of like a hard shell. He has to crack it open. Okay, this is good, Mark. Mark will promote the first It feels like fossilized powder, like in a pod. Wow, it smells like almost like powdered milk. <laughs> wow, it tastes like powdered milk, but with like a turns to like cream when it mixes with your saliva. Maybe the type of fruit that you would really make something with rather than like just snack on it. But that is, man, I love tasting new fruits. Well, new fruits to me that I've never tried before. Oh yeah. Don't take too big of a bite, or they'll have a dry mouth. That's almost like bread. Tá cortando agora a fruta ou baru? A parte de fora. We had baru. That, we oh, had this is the baru. Yeah. Oh. Look. Come here. It doesn't have crust. Mmm. Oh, this is the. That's the seed inside of it. Oh wow. Yeah, you can hear it rattling around. But that tastes. That taste. Yeah, it's very sweet, kind of like leathery and has a raisin taste to it. We gotta move though because we gotta go, we're gonna, from here, we're gonna take a two hour drive to an amazing family local restaurant. All right. Look at the 
Yeah, but how do I know? That was a beautiful drive. That took about two hours. We arrived to the old city. We're right in the historic center of Goyas. And this is a beautiful city. Uh, the, it's not even cobblestone, but these are like straight stone slab roads. There's a church, the buildings. It's gorgeous. The, I love how there's just massive trees even in the middle of the road. This is like the center town square. Uh, we're gonna go straight to go eat because it's lunchtime. It's so incredibly beautiful. The streets, the construction, the heritage. I'm just loving the walk even to get to the restaurant. Mike is having a roller coaster ride. This is the spot, Restaurante Brasero. And they're known for their traditional, it's just a home traditional. This is the type of restaurant I get psyched about. The owner is so friendly. Thank you. So, obrigado. Por nada. Obrigado. Por nada. An amazing restaurant. You can immediately smell the smoke because they cook over fire all of the dishes. Oh, yes. Coming back into the kitchen where they have the entire stoves burning all. Everything is cooked over wood. Some things are cooked in big giant like iron kettles. Others are cooked in clay. The, these are just local, local dishes cooked with love. It's beautiful. She's gonna cook for us with Peki. Yes. Yeah, she didn't want to cook today with Peki. Uh, but so we're here for the Peki. Obrigado. And then she goes, no, we're gonna cook. Uh, yeah. Obrigado. Oh, I am loving this place. The food, you get all the aromas. And actually, one of the main dishes we wanted to eat here is the Peki, which is the fruit. Um, but they didn't make it today, but she is so nice. She said she's gonna make us some Peki now. Is it okay to taste? They spit it. So I'm gonna put it in the That is the picky, picky fruit that she just uh, took out and she's gonna boil. She just put it into a pot right now. That's gonna boil. I'm not sure what she's gonna make exactly, but that is the fruit. That is the unique fruit. Oh, it's just beautiful. Like the orange and yellow colors of it. Oh, just don't dig deep, right? Mm. Don't mm. dig deep. It's like when you eat like a rabbit, you know, look. Ah, okay. Look, you just use the, the teeth, to, like, like a rodent uh, animal, right? But it's a dangerous fruit. You can't bite into the whole fruit or the spikes, the little spikes from what I understand, that like stick to your tongue. Okay, here it goes, my first time. Just kind of like... Yeah. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. You got her just like... New bowl. I'm being a little cautious, just kind of taking the... the outside flesh. That tastes like straight cheese. Cheese on seed. You want to like bite the entire thing but that would be bad news. That's great though. It's so like oily too. Even on my fingers you can feel like almost like avocado oil. And then if you get into it, Gel Hermes opening one, you can see like the little like spikes in it. Oh yeah, you do not want to mess with that. And that will like actually stick to your tongue. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, wow. Sharp. As we're waiting for the pekki, the owner has blended us a, this is a cashew fruit smoothie. I've eaten the cashew fruit before, but I've never had a smoothie of it. You can see she also garnished it with a little cashew fruit on the side, like a miniature, a mini one. This is, it's gorgeous. It's bubbling, it's frothy. Oh, oh wow. That has like a sour strawberry taste to it. Slightly like alcoholic taste to it. And it does have that, but it's almost like strawberry-like. That's, that's incredible. That is not water. This is homemade sugarcane alcohol. The owner of the restaurant really wants us to taste his sugarcane liquor. Oh yeah, that's strong. And then you chase it with the cashew, the cashew fruit. Mm. 
Yeah, that's like really strong followed by like really sour. It is almost like strawberry like. It's strong, but it also, it smells nice. She boiled the, the picky for at least like 30 minutes. Uh, then she added it to the chicken. She added it to the chicken. Immediately you can smell that aroma, cheesy fruitiness. They look like little egg yolks. She's the, the main, her name is Casimira. Casimira, she is an amazing cook. She's the main cook here. She's so friendly. She is, she is taking care of us. And the dish is almost ready. It's unbelievably fragrant. I am ecstatic to try it. Another dish that I just smelled over here but bubbling away. This is a preserved like like smoked meat. It smells so good and I can almost you can, I think there must be like some sugar in there. The, the sauce looks almost like caramel. Yes. Like that. That when you just slice off a piece. <laughs> Before we dig into the main dish, she wanted us to try this beef which has been simmering in that pot. <laughs> Such pure beef. It's so lean. Sabroso. Bon, bon. Okay. Let's get started with the full meal. It's all buffet self service. So you even. You even, they have some salads at the front, but you even come to the kitchen where the dishes are still cooking and heating to serve yourself. Yeah, I'm going rice first because this is what you want to lay your base down for before you dig into the, the pekki stew. Yeah, the main dish I really want to eat right now is the pekki stew, so I'm going to get some of the chicken first. Two pieces of chicken on there. Pekki. If you accidentally forget that it's pekki and just like chomp down on the whole thing, you would actually like suffer. And then just drizzle it in. Sauce, sauce it. I'm gonna move over here to some of the beans. Like really sticky, really hearty beans. All oh, the stickiness of that. Glad that the, the bean stew with, this looks like pork parts. One meatball. A meatball on the side here. Go rolls. I first time that was almost lasagna, but it's more like a colada style. On this side there. Obrigado. Okay, I think it's okra. But there's also salads, but I think I'll have to wait for round two for salads. So excited. I got a variety of the different dishes, but that, yeah, that main dish is the pecky with the chicken stew. You can, like, as you're carrying your plate around, like, the entire restaurant can just smell of the fruit. It kind of, I was just trying to think what it smells like. It does kind of smell like jackfruit. It kind of has almost a, ban like, a overly pungent banana aroma. I'm gonna first just taste the rice with the, the pecky sauce that she boiled out. Oh, yes. It's so unique. Like it's a salty chicken stew that has a really like, like kind of like chicken peppery broth taste to it. But then with that like fruity, jackfruity taste. And they do kind of look like egg yolks, but they are far from egg yolks. People do say it is a dangerous fruit because you gotta know if you don't know and if you just take a bite of it, you're like in real serious trouble. Like you could, your tongue might be in danger of never tasting again. Like gingerly. Oh, wow. When it's cooked, it's almost like, it almost takes on more of a starchy, oh, like hardened cheese, but like with a banana, like a pungent banana taste. It's kind of creamy. Almost like the texture of a bean now that it's been cooked. How deep can you don't want to get too overly excited about eating this because it's so delicious and then end up with a, with a, a tongue that's just like your tongue torn apart. That's delicious though, that's unbelievably unique. When you touch it with your fingers, it feels like avocado oil. It has to be healthy. To the beans and the feijoada. And I think that's pork skin, chunks of pork skin in there too. Dude, that pork skin just melts in your mouth. And with those starchy beans, pure home cooking. And you taste the fire in it as well. And then I've got a piece of sausage in here too. Beans and rice, what a, what a combination of love. that roll of dough with meat inside and tomato sauce. 
feels like a noodle wrapper, but it's more of like a pancake. Minced meat in the middle with a very vibrant tomato sauce. Be careful, so be careful the piqui, huh? Yeah, you do have to be careful. <laughs> True. But the flavor is just, it's unbelievably good. Yes. Like it's so unique. Hearty food. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the juices that the owner just brought us. <gasps> These are all local tropical yeah. fruits, right? Mm -hmm. Not sure what this one is, but it's a green juice, a local fruit. Mm. Oh, that tastes like soursop. The name? Cagaita. Cagaita. Yeah, I have Cagaita. no clue how to say in English. <laughs> Neither do yeah, I. Yeah, because there's some <laughs> fruits, Brazilian fruits, for example, jabuticaba, there's no mini. And it just says jabuticaba oh, tree, it's, you know? It originates here, it's from here. Yes. And it's like, this is where you have to try it. It's kind of like minty, kind of like soursoppy. Delicious. Okay, next juice, this is the kaja. Oh. <laughs> That's like, it tastes like Marian plum, like like a stronger mango. Mmm. Wow. And like almost like apricot at the same time. The last juice is the tamarind juice. Oh. oh, that's amazing. And I've had tamarind like countless, countless times in so many things. But this is really good the way she's made it. It's extra sour and just balanced with sweetness. We want the Okay, add a little chilies, and I'll go in for that meatball next. Mm. Oh, the meatball. That's just like solid condensed meat. And a very fine grind. Went back for some vegetables. Uh, got some, I think it's green zucchini. We think it's green zucchini, but not totally sure, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay, final picky. You gotta, yeah, you have to nibble on it like a rabbit. That actually tastes like cheddar cheese. Yay, come here, man. Amazing. Obrigado. Opa, não te quero. Thank you. Muito obrigado. Obrigado. Tchau. Thank you so much. Obrigado. Volta de novo aí. Obrigado. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That was a spectacular oh. meal. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado and você. She is so nice, Anna. Um, she took care of us. She she calls us all by name here. Yeah. That's amazing. And also. Obrigada. Obrigado. Obrigado. Hello. Obrigado. Oh man, that was special. Obrigada. So special. An honor to be here. Valeu. 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 Ah. Valeu. Yes. Yes. Estar em Goiás. Estar em Goiás. É bom demais. É bom demais. Isso. É bom demais. Aí, valeu de novo. Obrigado. Super cool. We even said goodbye probably like 10 times before leaving. That just the food, the hospitality, the culture, that it will leave you just smiling, walking away. We're just gonna walk around for a little bit this town, uh, get a few more shots, just walk around, just enjoy the peacefulness of this town, uh, and then drive back to the city. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Yes. For good after, that means good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going across the bridge. This is such a picture perfect little town. And we're almost to the church, the natural beauty, then just how warm and friendly and welcoming everybody is here. How much are the coconuts? Five each. Five each? Cool. Montage. Montage. Oh, Tudo bem? Obrigado. And it's cool when, when he said boa tarde, then he said boa tarde. Yeah. He was replying like, how are you? Awesome. And then he said, tudo bom. Oh, tudo bom, tudo bom. Tudo bom. Sorry. It's almost, it's almost like a, a wine corkscrew remover that he opens the coconut. That's so fast and efficient. Oh yeah, oh that's refreshing. That's so good, perfectly sweet, a little bit sour. Under the tree, this is fabulous. What is it? It's called Igreja de Nossa Senora do Rosario. It's so quiet, so peaceful, the murals around.
It was an absolute pleasure and joy to walk around town. Uh, this is the old city of Guais and yeah, what a beautiful, spectacular place. Highly recommended to visit. Well worth the drive from Guyana in the, the main city. Uh, we're now driving back to the main city and we're gonna have a few street foods when we get back. Obrigado. We arrived back into town and we came straight to a place to eat. It's like a tamale. It's made from corn and this place is amazing. It's in a parking lot, a sea of corn husks. They've gone through just a mound of corn. Unfortunately, we got here kind of late. They're almost sold out, but they literally, they just had one left for us to taste. So I'm grateful they had one more for us. But yeah, this is the type of place you gotta get here really early because it's so popular, it sells out. It's a kind of soul. Ah, okay. Oh. This is with a kind of like jerk beef. Like ah, okay. She, as I was logging, she brought out another one. So we got one chicken, one beef. In, in Brazil, they call pamonha. Oh, pamonha. Pamonha, yeah, it's ah, kind of okay, okay. like the Brazilian tamales. We have different flavors, you know, this one is kind of like carne de sol. With uh, the beef in it. With the beef, and then, and then the this other is, one the, is the chicken one. With chicken and we it. also have the sweet ones with butter, with salt, ah. plain. And, it, and it's a typical dish from uh, Guayas State. So this will be the dessert, kind of. These are monster too, they're huge. So this is a full meal. It's not full just meal. A, like a snack, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Full meal. Originally, we weren't going to be able to have the full spectrum of of them, but now we got a sweet one. So they're they're warming up. They have a few leftovers still left. So we got now three varieties. All right, we're going to try the beef one first. Cheers, Cheers. man. Mm. Mm. Salty, huh? Yeah, it's like salty, but it's like su it's sweet corn, right? Yeah, sweet corn. It's sweet corn because it's sort very sweet rather than the the non-sweet field corn. It has that immediate sweetness. Oh, that's incredibly delicious. And yes, that's a wise move right there. Add some hot sauce all over it. And then you taste the shreds of beef in it too. It's such a balance. It's really good. Yeah, there's cheese. I think this is Kurt, Kurt cheese. cheese in here. Cheese, look. Oh, wow, that's a whole like, yeah. That's a whole string of cheese. How with the cheese? I'm almost positive oh, it's Kurt you. cheese. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. That's curd cheese. With the sauce, it's awesome. It's sour, it's almost fruity, and spicy. It looks like something so simple. It's so flavorful. Let's try the chicken one. Let's try the chicken one. Waterfall it. Like I'm actually impressed how good it is. Cheers. Cheers. Chicken one. Oh, you, you did away with your pork. Oh no. <laughs> 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 it's good. <laughs> okay, let's try the sweet real fast. Sweet one. Wait, it comes with cheese. It comes with cheese? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a whole stick of cheese in the middle. Mm. But the sweet one is good too. It's almost like pudding. Yeah. It's like, it's like the, my favorite. The corn. Is it one of your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, really it's almost like pudding. Like corn pudding. I say my, the, my favorite is the beef one, but they're all good. Like impressively good. Yes, we have one more thing to eat on this food tour today. Uh, it's gonna be some grilled, some grilled things. Bumping, it's so packed, it's so energetic, it's so lively. The meat is just roasting away. Uh, they have this unique grilling system where they have two layers of the grill. But one of the kebabs that we're here to eat especially is the chili kebab, the pimienta kebab. It's like a chili which is stuffed with ground meat wrapped in bacon and grilled over the charcoal. And it smells incredible. Part Brazilian steakhouse, part like beer garden, just an amazing, vibrant, energetic, lively place. Really friendly as well. And you can just smell the meat like in this entire neighborhood. I've just been told to just take a bite from the kebab. That's the best way to do it. Just take a bite out of it. This is a beautiful skewer. Chilies, there's minced meat kind of like popping out the top. It's stuffed with minced meat and then wrapped with bacon. Mm. 
Oh, that's amazing. It's not spicy at all, but the pepper is so fragrant. It's sweet and charred, then filled with meat, and then you've got that bacon umami. Mm. Good. Let's do it. You gotta try that. You film, you film yourself though. You film yourself, man. Not spicy at all. Really good. It's delicious though, right? I know what we need to do. Trinidad Scorpion. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Kind of like the, the, the bacon crackling. The owner is so nice. He just brought over the signature dish, which is like a mountain of pork cracklings. Okay, and we're about to taste the, the Trinidad Scorpion chili sauce on that chili. Chili on chili. Oh, it's actually not that spicy. Not spicy. Not that spicy, yeah. It's like unbelievably crispy and crunchy. Next, the uh, rice plate with those beans on the side, and I think that's cassava flour. Yeah. Wonderful, simple, rice, beans, and the refreshing tomato. I'm not sure if it's beef, a little bit chewy, but really flavorful. Yeah, this is a video. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Next up for the tongue, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sauce it. Mm. Oh, yeah. The tongue is so soft, it's almost creamy. Yes. Onions stuffed with minced meat, by kafta, I think they told us. And then I think there's cheese in the middle as well, and then wrapped in bacon. And they're like pool ball sized. There's cheese squeezing out the, that squeezed out the bottom. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think a little bit of the Trinidad Scorpion would be in order for this one. It's not really that spicy. The Reaper was a lot spicier. That's delicious. Oh wow. We have come to the end of this just incredible day in Brazil. This has been such a fun day, uh, such an educational, such a, such a learning day. The highlight for me was definitely the, the drive out to Cidade de Gois. I want to say a huge thank you to Guilherme and Rafaela, and I'll leave their links in the description box below. And also, if you haven't already checked out this entire playlist of Brazilian food and travel videos, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But we've traveled all around Brazil, eating some of the best food. It's been an incredible learning trip of Brazil. So go check out all the rest of the videos. And I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I'm, I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Brazil. See you on the next video.